Adjusting brake bias is a very important step in setting up a track vehicle because it provides more control under braking. In a heavy braking situation, it's desirable for the front tires to lock up with slightly less pedal pressure than the rears, otherwise the car will be sent into a spin. On a dual circuit brake system, the course biasing of the system is done by correctly sizing the calipers, rotors, and master cylinders. For vehicles with dual brake master cylinders, Tilton's adjustable brake balance bar offers quick adjustment for fine-tuning brake balance. It takes the force you apply to the pedal and distributes it to the front and rear master cylinders. The percentage of force that goes into each master cylinder depends on the balance bar adjustment position. To demonstrate how it works, let's take a look at this Tilton 600 series pedal assembly. Now set the position of the spherical bearing by turning the bar until it's centered in the neutral 50-50 position. For clarity, the balance bar is shown here in its neutral position outside of the pedal assembly. Once the balance bar is installed into the pedal, the position will need to be confirmed. Next, thread the push rods into the clevises. Thread push rods into each balance bar clevis equally to set desired pedal position. Because the front master cylinder is usually smaller than the rear and feeds larger calipers, the front master cylinder push rod will typically need to be out about a quarter inch longer to compensate. We will put that amount in now and tighten jam nuts to secure them in place. After adjustment, make sure there are at least six push rod threads into each clevis. When the system is installed in bled and there is load on the brake pedal, the balance bar should be parallel to the firewall. Once the balance bar is initially set up and you've tested brake bias in a controlled environment at safe speeds, you can easily adjust brake bias by rotating the shaft. With the pedal in the relaxed position and the balance bar jam nut loosened, Turn the adjusting shaft so that it advances the spherical bearing closer to the selected master cylinder, increasing the braking force produced by that master cylinder. Each full turn of the balance bar is equivalent to approximately a 4% change in force distribution. Once you're satisfied with the adjustment bar location and brake bias, tighten the jam nut and you're good to go. The vehicle should never be driven without the jam nut properly torqued because vibration can cause the bar to shift or even fall out of a clevis. With the default brake bias set, an optional remote brake bias adjuster can be used to change the front rear balance on the fly to suit changing track conditions and tire performance. The balance bar has an adjustment range of up to 30%, but it should ideally be set near the center of its travel. If you find that what you need is outside of the optimum range provided by the bar, you will need to make a master cylinder bore size change. Tilton offers master cylinders in a wide range of bore sizes to allow proper balance bar setup for practically any vehicle. A call to our technical professionals at 805-688-2353 will get you expert advice on selecting the right master cylinder size for your vehicle. Tilton's adjustable balance bar makes setting brake bias easy, and with the optional remote adjuster, bias can be changed right from the driver's seat. For more information about Tilton Engineering's complete line of high-performance brake control components, visit TiltonRacing.com.